Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to match item or track loudness levels in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I've already imported a file with multiple pieces of music that I created in another program. In this case, it was a video editor. And I need to smooth out the level of all these pieces so they sound about the same volume. Let's hear it now. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut them up into separate items. Let's select the item, hit D for dynamic split, which opens up the dynamic split dialog. Let's switch it to gate open and close, turn off the transients, make sure we choose split selected items, turn on this option, which is gonna remove the silent areas. Let's make a pad of 100 in the beginning, and about 500 at the end. We'll bring down the threshold and the hysteresis. So we'll get one item for each musical piece. Let's split it. Now they're separated into different items. Now we could normalize them by right clicking, go to item processing, and choose normalize items. But that's going to normalize each item to the highest peak or peak level. That's not the same thing as perceived loudness, which is what the LUFS level is used for. It's frequency weighted and integrated to correspond with the perceived loudness of the signal. In other words, if the LUFS level of each piece is the same, they should sound like they're all the same volume. But this right here is just the peaks. As we can see, all the files look the same, but they're not going to sound the same loudness. What's here? they still sound a bit different. So let's undo that. And instead, let's use a different action. Now this action is part of the SWS extensions. So make sure you install those first, if you haven't already. Then we're gonna select all the items, go to actions, show action list. And let's type in the filter loudness. And with the SWS extensions installed, we should have this action right here. Normalize loudness of selected items or tracks. Let's double click it. And that opens up this dialog where we can normalize our items based on LUFS instead. And we could set this to whatever target value we want. I'm going to use minus 14 because that's the LUFS level that Spotify uses. And now, if we normalize it, notice the waveforms look very different from piece to piece. Their peak levels vary dramatically because their dynamic content, or how compressed they are, is very different. But they should be perceived to be the same level or volume. So now let's hear the difference. That sounds a lot better to me. Each piece of music sounds about the same level, but we can still tweak it manually on each item individually. And now we can just render this to one big file to import it to my video editor. But let's say we had these pieces on separate tracks and we wanted to do 
a similar thing. Balance out their levels to be all the same based on loves. But we didn't want to do it with the item volume. We wanted to do it based on tracks. We could do that as well, using the same action. Let's hear it now. They're very different levels. And if we check the mixer, the faders are all the same. They're all set to zero. But we could adjust the faders automatically based on their luffs level using the same action. Let's select all these tracks, go to the action menu, show action list, and just choose that same action. Normalize loudness of selected items or tracks. Double click it. And this time we'll choose in the dialog tracks. Let's keep it at minus 14, luffs, and then normalize it. And notice, it doesn't change the level of our items, it changes the level of our tracks, which we can see in the mixer. Right here, all the faders are adjusted based on the loudness or the perceived loudness of each piece. Now, if we still want to tweak it manually, we could do it in this mixer. But it should be good enough as is. It automatically does all the work for us without having to manually adjust the faders or in the previous project, adjust the level of the items. Hey, Kenny from the future here. If you don't want to use the SWS extensions to do this, in the newer versions of Reaper, we could do it natively, at least for the items. Just double click the track to select all the items, then right click, go to item properties, and go to normalize. And instead of using true peak or peak, we could use LUFS. And we would use the LUFS integrated right here. Let's set the value at minus 14 again, and we want to normalize each item separately, not together to a common gain. Hit OK. Let's close this. Now they're all adjusted to be the same LUFS value, frequency weighted to sound the same. So that's pretty much it. That's how to match item or track loudness levels in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. The ice is gonna break!